Hey, it's Michael here. And about a year ago, we got a 22 kilowatt Honeywell generator from Costco. And they're basically uh, identical to Generax. And so it's been a year. And according to the maintenance schedule, you are supposed to change your oil after the first 25 hours of operation. Now, fortunately, we haven't had too many power outages and we've only had a couple hours of runtime on the generator other than the exercise time. So I'm well below the 25 hours, but it has been a year and I do want to get the original oil out of here because that oil might have some minute metal shavings in it or whatever, just because it was new. So let's get some new oil in here. I'm also going to change the air filter, although that isn't really called for until uh, 200 hours of operation, but since I'm going to open the thing up and it does not hurt to have a clean air filter in there. I'll also take a look at the battery and uh, I'm going to pass on the valve clearance check because uh, again, we have so many few hours on it and I'll do that once we get up to about 25 hours, which is the suggested maintenance interval for checking your valve clearance. And of course our spark plugs are good for quite a while here. So not too worried about that either. Do recommend oil change once a year or every 100 hours of operation. Now conceivably, if you had a lengthy power outage, you could definitely uh, have 100 hours of operation well before one year's period of time. So just uh, check your manual for that. If you don't have one, you should definitely download one if you plan on doing the maintenance yourself. Now, a maintenance call for me would be about $250. I'm kind of a DIY guy, so I, I boned up on my manual reading and uh, I think we can handle this. So let's get to it. So there's not a whole lot you need here, but obviously you're going to need oil if you're doing an oil chain. So I got a 5 weight 30 Pennzoil Platinum Full Synthetic, a uh, little pile of paper towels just to clean up any potential spills. Here's my Generac oil filter, that part number is 070185ES. And uh, I just have a little thing here for when I take the oil filter off, we're going to get some dripping. So I'm just going to catch it in this little pan. Here is my air filter uh, for checking the battery. You're going to have to take off the side panel. So you'll need a hex wrench. This is a four millimeter hex wrench. And then I've got a bucket here just to catch the oil discard. Uh, you are going to have to unlock your generator, uh, two locks, one on each side. And so you want to unlock your generator. And then first thing we're going to do once we open the top is turn off the circuit breaker. So here's your main circuit breaker and we're going to turn that off. We're also going to go over here and we're going to turn uh, your control panel to off. And just to confirm, it does say switch to off. And then you're also going to want to take off the front panel and that's really easy to do. All you have to do is lift it up from the middle and then rotate it out and just put this off to the side. So before we change the oil, we do want to run the generator for about five minutes to get the oil all warmed up. Uh, and that'll also make it easier to drain since it will be all warmed up and not cold. And so let's start this up. All we have to do is push the manual button. So just to show you the lay of the land here, this is our air filter. We'll take this cover off in just a few minutes. This is the dipstick. This is how you're gonna check your oil level. And here is your oil fill cap. We'll be removing that obviously to put the oil back in. Here's our oil filter and here's our drain tube. So this is connected uh, to the side just to hold it up here, but we'll be removing it. And then we'll be removing the cap off here to drain it into our bucket here. So that is about it. And then as far as the battery is concerned, we're going to have to take off the side panel. And uh, I'm actually going to do that first because that's the easiest part of this whole operation. So we'll just use our hex wrench to take out these two. And this panel will just lift right out. So we'll do a visual inspection of the battery here. Uh, I don't really have to worry about adding liquid to this. This is a maintenance-free battery, but you do want to check the peephole here just to see what's up in there. All right, I don't see any corrosion on the terminals at all, so we're in good shape here. And uh, everything else looks good. So I'm going to button this up, and then we'll start with the air filter next. All right, changing the air filter, super easy. Uh, we have the air intake duct here. We've got a clip down here. All you have to do is release the clip and then lift the cover off. Just take that whole 
duct work with you. Take a look inside visually, and if there's any debris in here, any leaves or just anything at all, just clean it out. And that looks pretty good, very clean actually. And this filter, again, this is in very good condition. I could probably use this, keep it in there. But uh, since I bought a new filter, it wasn't that expensive. I'm just going to replace the filter. Before you put the filter in, though, just make sure that everything is clean inside as well. I'll just take a gander in there and make sure there is no debris in there whatsoever. And if there is, remove it. So the new air filter only goes in one way. Can't really screw this up too much. So there you go. And we'll just replace the cover. Make sure the duct is in place securely. Uh, the only thing you have to be careful of is there are two tabs here and they have to be inserted into the res uh, receptacles here on the air cleaner cover. That is the only thing. So once that is in place, clip it back up and there we go. Get your waste oil bucket in place and we have to remove the drain tube from the side of the unit. Keep holding it up while you unscrew it otherwise you may have oil coming out. And uh, crack open and remove the oil filling cap. And that'll let air get in there and help this drain a lot faster. But since the oil is nice and warm, this is draining pretty quickly. And there's not quite two quarts of oil in here, so this should go pretty quickly. All right, we have no more oil coming out of here. So I'm going to put the cap back on. We attach it up here. Get it out of the way. And now I'm going to put my little pan under the oil filter. Now the oil filter is going to be quite hot at this point. So I'm going to use a paper towel just to uh, give my hand a little more protection. It should not be on that tight, so it should be hand tight. Yeah, there we go. It's coming right off. So that's good. You just want to rub just a tiny bit of oil on this gasket. And as good measure, I usually just like to clean the gasket seat area here too, just to make sure that no grit or anything got on there. Now, some people say you should fill the uh, filter with oil before you screw it on. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I don't really understand the point of that exactly uh, because half the oil is going to spill out as I'm starting to put it on here. So really unnecessary to do that in my opinion. You want to make sure you don't cross thread this filter. So just give it a little backspin here until it catches the thread. Make sure you don't get any wires caught under that as you're spinning it on. And right when you get it to touch, where you get that initial resistance, you want to give it about another three quarter of a turn just to make sure that filter is on there. And there we go, nice and snug. I'm going to use a little funnel to put the oil in here. We need to put in a little bit less than two quarts of oil. All right, we'll just check that oil level now. It should be just about right. Yeah, looks like we're good. Give it one final look over, make sure everything is secure. Go back up to your circuit breakers and put them back on. And go back to your control panel here and hit auto. Put your panel back on. Make sure you're secure at the bottom. Close your lid. Lock it back up and you should be good to go. Hope this helps you out.